thanks for joining us. We have a couple people on our team here, and Maida's going to show us a couple things that she's been working on, and we'll do some Q&A here at the end. So Maida, how about if I turn the time over to you and you show us what you got? Sure, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing some updates that we have made in IDX Salons, and this is for IDX Broker. The first thing that I want to share with you is that we added two new webhook endpoints. Uh, you can find them on this link and I'm going to show you, but one of the endpoints is uh, to be able to delete an IDX broker lead on high level. And the other one is to assign a saved link to an existing link, to an existing lead, I'm sorry. I'm going to show you an example of this last endpoint. And okay, but first I would like to show you uh, just a quick overview of how this look. For example, to delete an IDX broker lead, uh, you only need like to add a trigger. It can be a tag or something else. And the webhook would look something like this. So it's really simple. You only need like to add a trigger and this URL that we're providing in this IDX add-ons um, URL, and you can customize the workflow as you want. In, in this particular webhook URL, it's important to notice that uh, this action can be undone. So uh, if you delete an IDX lead, it, you can recover it, it's already deleted. And also that the activity from the lead connector dashboard is also going to be removed. So it's important to let you know this. And related to the how to assign a saved link to an existing IDX lead, it's also very similar. You need also to add a trigger. It can be a tag, it can be something else. Uh, I want to. Sh I will show you uh, one example using tags, but this is for existing IDX leads. And once I show you the example, it's going to be more clear. But I also wanted to let you know how the saved links work in IDX Worker. These are like community pages that you can use um, to allow users to showcase specific listings that meet. Uh, that are from a specific area, property types, or price range, or any other uh, search criteria available in the advanced search uh, for your MLS. So I would like to show you an example. Let's go to the example. So for example, let's say that I have this uh, webhook, and I'm going to use this tag to assign a saved link to, the, uh, to an existing IDX broker lead. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, this lead that it's called Imelda Armstrong. And in this example, I'm, I'm using a polygon saved link. So in case I would like to assign the saved link or disabled search with the same search criteria of this saved link to Imelda, I would only need to trigger this workflow. And I have added here this tag, assign saved link, I, uh, assign saved link. So I'm going to refresh here the page so you can see that uh, she only has one saved search. And here I'm going to add this tag, assign, save it link. So this is what triggers the workflow. And once I refresh this page, I'm going to see here that Imelda has this new save it search with the same search criteria that was added in that save it link for the Miami Polygon. And if I click here, uh, View details well here. I can see all the results in a new window. I can see that Imelda is going to have this save it search and she's now going to receive notifications for this particular search. Um, 
So you can use this to assign a saved search to list that doesn't have one or are interested in a particular area. And this is very useful in case you want to use this uh, webhook endpoint. As I, told, as I told you, you can find this uh, these webhook endpoints on this page. You only need to click, for example, here, and you will see here uh, the URL that you need to use. And also if you click on these links, it's going to open a tutorial showing you how or the steps that you need to follow to create a custom workflow, or in case you want to like get these workflows um, into your high level account, you can add them by getting this snapshot. Mm -hmm. Well, this is related to the to IDX broker and these two new endpoints. I don't know if you have any comments or questions. I have a quick question about that, Maida. So if, for example, I have signups in Miami and I have signups in Tampa, can I assign the one to the Miami people and a different safe search to the Tampa people? Or are we assigning one safe search to everybody when that triggers? Mm, you can create different workflows mm -hmm. if you want to with these two different save at links so they have different search criteria or you could also create one workflow uh, but one workflow uh, and somewhere there are a condition that if they fill this survey or if I add this tag they are going to be assigned to this particular save at link and for the other for the Tampa search the other save at link but you would need to create two different saved links, one for each. Okay, thank you. Area. Mm -hmm. Could you okay. go back? Where where do we find the snapshot for that? Uh, the snapshot you would need to go if you are like here in IDX Adams, you only need okay. to type here snapshot. Okay. Uh, going to show this and you only need to click here on workflows and here you will get the link for the snapshot. Mm -hmm. um, is, is there a snapshot or workflow or something to automatically sign someone up for a market report? For a market report? No, not it doesn't exist. And I think we can add it right now because there's no way to assign a market report to a lead using IDX Broker API as far wow. as I know. <laughs> That's a bummer. Do you have any other question now? Um, Let me interject right there. There may be a workaround for that, Noel, where you could... <clears throat> Um, identify the market reports as like a custom value inside of high level. I mean, you could person could kind of build this out where you say um, custom value equals Tampa market report, and then the the URL of the of the market report. And you have another one that says you know the custom value is uh, Miami market report, and it shows the URL of it. And so then you could do the same thing because those URLs don't change. And then you could send those like once a month or every three months or whatever. And you could send the link to those market reports to those clients. Um, yeah, that's true. We could do it that way. Yeah.